then get me hurt this year. What am I going to do if you hold me? People, welcome back to Politics Watch. This is Sir P. Now, that little clip I just heard is from the classic hit performed by the old school DJ, them called Dirtsman. We're going to talk about not just who killed him, but why them killed him. Dirtsman's real name is Patrick Thompson. He also was a very popular brother by the name of Tyrone Thompson. You may know him as Papa San. Papa San is the more popular of the two because his career, right, in terms of you know hit songs and state performances, right, he had more longevity, right. But both of them were very talented brothers. Right? Papa San would actually go on to have major success in two genres, dancehall and gospel. The rich man and Papa San came from the era of dancehall where it was really hard for us. Man did have to hang around, stood up for days, you know, win talent show, uh, travel with one son, uh, hope they get on five minutes to perform in front of the people, and hope they don't get bored or buckle. It was not interesting times, enough dancehall artists. There wasn't any Instagram or YouTube where you could just you know, upload the music and go viral overnight. This was a very different era. So Dirt's man, as me say, was also a talented DJ, like him brother. But he may not get caught up in the acidity of early gang politics, especially surrounding Klansman and De La Vida City. Ironically, he had an album named Acid. Remember that video on a man with him called Poppy Street by right? Delroy Eccleston. Right? And we tell him say, Bolby did have to kill him off before he could be the done. Well, it was not him alone because at the time, Bolby had drafted up a list of people who he didn't need to get rid of right before he could actually have total control. Especially when it comes to the Dela, because Dela is a very important and strategic era right, when it comes on to the Klansman gang, right, even to this day. You see, back then, Bolby had a list of people who he need to get rid of because they were basically a roadblock on his path to Danship. These people were very influential and as long as they were around, Bolby's job would be much harder. Right? Just to name a few people like Poppy String, was me say, right? Bolby did kill. There are people like Mikey Tota, right? there are people like Ben Football. Well, Dirtsman managed to end up on this list. Bolby saw Dirtsman as an ally a puppy stream on the Monday, and therefore you know that guy already. Right. The man's music career right, was actually at his peak not long before he moved in life. He saw his biggest success with the classic hit Hot This Year. Right. That's the song we play at the start of this video. Now, unless you're very, very young, you should know that song. It's a classic in a dance song. Right. But as his career was on the rise, he would be killed in De La Vega City, circa December 1993. Bolby was on a rampage. Anybody who was not with him was against him. Bolby's philosophy was sick. Fall in line and work with me or you are dead. This is the strategy he used right up until his demise. In the video I made about Bond Man, right, when I was telling you about how he wipe out Renegade Man them, I see him operate. Once Bolby see he was a threat, even if you don't attack him yet, man, he will launch a preemptive strike. That's the type of done Bolby was. So, by being on the wrong side man, of Bolby and his plans, this was a death sentence back then. A group of 87s would ambush the DJ and kill him at his yard gate. Back then, the rest man was known to have one of the nicest host them in Adela. 87s then pull up on him, shoot him, and kill him in front of it. But as the 87s them kill him, shortly after, police in a catch up on some of them, and one of the 87s them actually lose stream life, one was shot and injured. Now, when Birchman did, right, the initial narrative was that as some kind of robbery, you know, such extortion. That was the first theory. See, most people only know Birchman right, as a DJ. See, remember, this was a time when time man I get extorted hard, especially in a Spanish tone. So, a DJ like Dirtsman, getting robbed and killed, right, or getting killed by extortion, it was completely plausible. 
because nobody was really looking at it from the angle of you know De La Vega and you know Transman gang politics and Baldwin and Takeover and Dirtsman and people like him we and him see Dirtsman as too influential and him now are falling in line. It simply wasn't that deep. Right? People were saying almost some kind of robbery or extortion. Combat. But that wasn't the case. It was a direct hit. Right? Baldwin ordered the hit. Dirtsman had to go. Just like Poppy String. Just like Mikey Tota and him and the half a day. Interesting enough, the same year where Dirtsman did, there was another popular artist right, who lose him life before Dirtsman, a couple months before him. His name was Panid. Now, Panid's murder is one of that video. But his death was inspiration for a number of big, big songs where you'd be very familiar with. But me say, that's one of that video. And here's something that's actually spooky. Panid and Dirtsman born the same year and dead the same year. Right? At least according to their public right, records. But both of them definitely died in 1993. But Papa son wouldn't just lose Dirtsman because I think he was about three siblings him lose in a short space of time. Papa son himself would end up getting some trouble with the law, but then him shot everybody when he became a Christian. He has since gone on to thrive in gospel music just like he did in dancehall. You see that level of talent is easy to transfer across genres. It's just a matter of if people will accept it and in Papa San's case they did. Uh, interesting enough, one of his rivals at the time, Luton and Stitchy, also converted to Christianity. So this should give you an idea of how destructive Baldy was as a done. He turned clans from an old time gang to a vicious and deadly organized criminal outfit. The tactics them were puppy string them that use, you know, the link with the politician and get the contract here and then go by. Bowlby took things to a whole different level of death and destruction. Puppy string them were simply not prepared for the level of violence that Bowlby was bringing. The 87 when Bowlby have run him, they were cut short to say the least. He also had some conciliaries around him who, well, as me say, ended up on a whole different level right, of dangerous. People like Dave Clans and them on the right, puppy string them, Mikey Tota them, them never ready for that at all. You see, this is a time when not just Clansmen but all gangs in Jamaica right, could run free as there was a mixture of corruption and incompetence on the part of your favorite leaders. This was a time when the government should have introduced new legislation to deal with this generation of killers that were clearly far more destructive than the previous set. You know, since I did them video, I always have some kind of deeper message behind it. When you talk about laws and updating legislation and you know, dealing with crime seriously, actually looking at how we can stop 87s, stopping the same man from going to jail, get bail, kill again, go jail, come back out, kill again, get catch with gun, come out after a year, kill again. Right. This was the time when your favorite leaders them should have clamped down on it. It's amazing that it took 2022 to actually start to write some serious legislation to deal with Ironman's level of murder and violence. You know the time old time people say you have to bend the tree while it's young? When the tree was young, that is when time them should have clamped down on it. Ironman would be a completely different place right now. In my opinion. But instead, they try to quote unquote fight crime with the same outdated colonial laws, right, with the boat from Apicil Filler, that were written when time Iron Man was not dealing with anything even remotely close to a clansman or one other. And remember, throughout all of this, Baldy was quote unquote wanted. We say quote unquote because it's not like he was living in a hole. It's not like he was Saddam Hussein. Your favorite politicians could go link him when they want. You see, the generations were now trying to outshine each other in the destruction. There was a time when just locking off a gun could make you the man. Then it turned to, you can't just have the gun, we have to go kill man, two man, to get ratings. Then two wasn't enough. Then you have to kill ten. Then shooting man wasn't enough. Right. Now you have to chop off head, put it on a stick, chop off and take out the finger them, throw it over your so 
through this over here, so then bury the carcass. Next thing you know, there is a race to the acidic abyss. Just look at 87s in Ironman. From the late 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, you will see they got progressively more destructive, more dangerous, more savage in their acts. And next thing you know, you have a gang like Klansman, where there are 87s with two to three victims and they not even get counted as bad man. So even though this video take a trip in the past, make a look to the future. 2022 is almost finished. Telling already said, my opinion, 2023 right, will be a turning point for Iron Man. Even if we don't see the numbers drastically decrease, we're going to get a lot of learnings. Once the Bail Act is updated, if it's updated, once the Correction Act is updated, if it's updated, because again, you don't know. Better but your favorite is that they can't really put the pot on fire, right? And count on them to deliver, but it look like, say, things are going to happen. 2023 right, is going to be an interesting year. 2022, gone bad already. It look like Iron Man might hit 1500 murders or fall just short. But a next year may I look forward to. So let's see what it has in store for us. Now, I'm going to be doing a few more of these, you know, historical videos. Hope people are having a happy and safe holidays. People take time on the road. When I big people, I'm sure not to say it, but unfortunately, people are going like say them now in a sense. Take time on the road, live good in the family and the friends. Iron Man, the future of light at the end of the tunnel. Till now, I already say, as bad as things may be, we now give up on Iron Man. So, I could see how it go. Anyway, Patreon Squad, you open yourself. Yeah, yeah, you don't know, more life. Ultra Squad, see you circling. Bless.